Reverend Jay Sassaman Herman, pastor of St. John's Reformed Church in Kutztown, envisioned the establishment of a select school for higher education in Kutztown. This is months prior to our nation's civil war in 1860. Henry Nix was suggested as the perfect fit to organize and run the school. In 1860, Nix established the Fairview Seminary in Reverend Herman's home, where he became the school's first principal and teacher. Reverend Herman's son, Oscar Herman, and future principal, Nathan Schaefer, were two of the school's first five students. In 1863, the seminary temporarily relocated to the second floor of the Kutztown Public School Building in response to Reverend Herman wanting to sell his house. The school would be known as both the Kutztown Academy and the Kutztown Seminary during its stay there. Plans were made to find a better location for the school's construction. Henry Nix partnered with some of Kutztown's residents to erect a three-story brick building, the Maxitawney Seminary, in September of 1864. It was built on the same ground Old Main stands on today. On September 17, 1865, a couple months after the Civil War ended, Berks County School Superintendent Reverend John Ermintrout laid the cornerstone for what would become the Keystone Normal School Building. This marked the beginning of the Maxitawney Seminary's transformation into an official state normal school. The Maxitawney Seminary would undergo renovations to meet the requirements of the Normal School Act of 1857. This law stated that a normal school must have at least 10 acres of land and buildings of sufficient size to accommodate 300 boarders, an auditorium to seat 1,000, and a library room. A four-story brick building that would serve as the school's centerpiece was added onto the original Maxitawney Seminary. Another three-story brick building, almost identical to the seminary, was attached to the west side of the centerpiece. Finally, on September 15, 1866, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania accepted the Keystone Normal School as the Keystone State Normal School. It was the fourth Pennsylvania Normal School for the third district, composed of Berks, Lehigh, and Schuylkill counties. For his role in assisting Maxitawney Seminary's successful transition to a state-approved normal school, Reverend Erman Trout was appointed as Keystone State Normal School's first principal in 1866. In its first year, the Keystone State Normal School was home to 318 students, consisting of only 55 females and 263 males. They lived in separate dorms and classroom interaction was limited. It was forbidden for students of the opposite sex to talk to each other in the classrooms and hallways. Literary societies, such as the Philomathian and the Calliothymian, were the predominant clubs and very popular among the late 19th century. They gave students a chance to cultivate the art of expressing their thoughts in a clear and fluent manner. Each society had their own separate library. There was also a book room where students went to read, research, study, or just would relax. Every year, a public anniversary celebration was held by both literary societies to showcase the year's musical and literary achievements. Abraham Reeser Horn was appointed as Keystone State Normal School's second principal in 1872 and served for five years. Nathan Schaefer graduated from Maxitawney Seminary in 1865 and was appointed the school's third principal in 1877. His accomplishments during these 16 years include a number of renovations and expansions to the classrooms, dormitories, and the school curriculum. Even though school rules were meant to keep the sexes separated, students were beginning to find ways around them. The YMCA and YWCA were established between 1887 and 1888. They would host social bowls, providing male and female students with an opportunity to mingle. On June 16, 1893, two weeks after Schaefer's resignation, Reverend Dr. George Hancher was nominated to take his place as principal. Leading up to the 20th century, Keystone State Normal School continued to grow and make changes. Land was acquired, and buildings were constructed to accommodate the expanding student body. The original Maxitawney Seminary and Kutztown State Normal School buildings were completely replaced by 1893. Classes such as biology, chemistry, agriculture, and sewing were introduced to the school. In 